Hey, what is up guys? So I got something super hype and I think a lot of players will be excited to see kind of the return of Trap Tricks. So the Proj sent this in. He said it was a really good replay. We could definitely count on him. But anyways, uh, it's, he's going to be facing off against a Star Seraph Shadal player, which is a pretty relevant deck. And uh, now with, uh, you know, the introduction of, you know, the uh, Cyber Dragon Infinity, a lot of players have been running Star Seraphs and a lot of different things. But anyways, he's going to be facing off against a Trap Tricks deck. It's a pure Trap Tricks uh, deck, not no artifacts in here. Basically, when Mortal Attack uh, got hit, people were like, "Nah, I don't want to play the artifact trap tricks anymore." But uh, anyways, uh, there's a really cool card in here that uh, was used early on, which is that Cheerio Sacred Tree. So he's able to basically distribute most of the stuff in his deck and then get out a Mermilio. Mermilio is then able to pop a spell and trap card, and he keeps bringing back Mermilio. That's why he's getting so much advantage here, and. Um, not only do you get free advantage with Marmelio, but being able to just ascend Marmelio to the graveyard, just special summon him so he's in the graveyard for your other targets, is actually a huge benefit in the game. And there's also this card, uh, Renaissance Insect, over here, which has got some pretty unique abilities. Um, it's not too strong, but you're basically going to be using its effect that uh, once it is sent from the field to the graveyard, you're able to add one level 5 or higher insect monster from your deck to your hand. And then if it's banished, you can descend one insect monster from your deck to the graveyard except for the same copy of itself so it's going to basically set up your trap tricks engine because sometimes that is a problem you draw too many of the trap trick cards that special summon other trap tricks and you just don't have the right ones in the graveyard so this one has like double utility over here and it's going to be pulling off a combo which is really old um back in the day there was something called the demise king otk and it involved this random card called doom dozer and Doom Dozer plus this card have a lot of utility. So this one is like, I guess you could say it's like the Dark Armed of uh, Insects. You uh, banish two to uh, summon it. And then um, when it inflicts battle damage, your opponent has to send the top card of their deck to the graveyard, which usually in this day and age of Yu-Gi-Oh, it's actually a benefit. But when you uh, banish the Renaissance Insect, you're going to be able to dump another uh, insect monster into the graveyard. So it actually helps out quite a bit. And then he has the Nempathies over here, which is actually a pretty decent card. It'll, it makes it so you're unaffected by, you know, whole no more cards. But uh, the main effect that you want is that if you activate a wh whole normal trap card, except during the damage step, you can add um, to your hand or spell some one trap tricks monster from your deck, except for the same copy of itself. And then you can only use that effect once per turn. But nonetheless, Deona is summoned. It's going to go ahead and summon the Marmelia, which then pops the Sinister Shadow games. And then uh, Rafalzia over here, which is the new card that makes the deck so, so much better. And you can see he still charges for one, but this card is just, it's too strong. And even though he gets rid of that back row, uh, that back row is actually going to be chained. So uh, it's going to go ahead and be like, nope, Winda. But the only problem with Winda is Winda can't be destroyed by card effects. But uh, Rafalzia is a really good card. Uh, if you guys don't know what Rafalzia does, is she's generic, but it's uh, unaffected by trap effects while it has material. And then uh, Trap Tricks monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects and cannot be targeted by opponent card effects. So it's like basically your Trap Tricks are good to go. And then once per turn during either player's turn, when the activation uh, timing of a normal trap, uh, a whole normal trap card in your deck is correct, you can detach one material from this card and then send the appropriate whole normal trap card from your deck to the graveyard and then you get to apply that effect as the sent trap cards effect. I know that, that wording is just, it shouldn't be like you can activate a trap cards effect that would be activated at the correct time, but you can see he's gonna go ahead and call it game right there because unfortunately, even though he went through like, is basically his entire deck, this thing is actually really, really annoying, but um, it does have that effect where it is um, trap tricks monsters you control except for Rolfalzia. So she doesn't necessarily protect herself, but I mean, her effect essentially protects herself because uh, she's able to activate a trap card from whatever, uh, whoever controls its deck. So definitely shows you guys, you know, maybe trap tricks can still be a little bit more viable. That deep dark trap hole obviously can come in really handy against, uh, you know, certain things that get a lot of uh, free advantage. But Sardals is all about the plus and look how many cards he has in his hand. Unfortunately, he basically used every card in his deck and couldn't deal with it. That was a really sick replay prod. Thanks for sending that in. And uh, maybe in the future, we'll see uh, what other support will come up for Trap Tricks because I think it's a cool archetype and not that many people played the archetype alone uh, as just a standalone deck. Like, obviously, Doom Dozer, it goes well with the deck and that um, 
Insect card. Never thought about that. That works so well with Doomdozer. Awesome little tech that is so maybe some of you guys out there that are interested in playing trap tricks again, try out the Doomdozer. That Naturia card also has a lot of synergy with the deck because uh, you can just start sending random stuff to the graveyard. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter. Most of the stuff is going to be a target anyways, especially if it's going to be destroyed. And you can get Mermilio out and pop back row for free, and then you already establish that Mermilio in the graveyard. Obviously with Call of the Haunteds and other things like Soul Charge, you can bring all those cards back and get extra advantage. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. This is your boy Will Smith, signing out.